welcome back problem 3.40 the statement is that the head h is connected to cylinder of a compressor using six steel bolts if clamping force in each bolt is 800 pound determine the normal strain in the bolt each bolt has a diameter of 3 by 6 inch and yield strength is stress is 40 ksi and modulus of elasticity of steel is 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi what is the strain in each bolt when the nut is unscrewed so the clamping force is released so you can see this is head edge and that is com connected with the compressor body through a bolt and there are six bolts that are used for the connection of this head with the compressor body and the clamping force is 80, 800 pounds. The diameter of bolt is 3 by 16. Yield strength is 40 ksi. And modulus of elasticity is given. So first we have to find the normal strain in the bolt. And in second part it is given that strain in each bolt when nut is unscrewed. So let's solve this problem. Now we you, you know that normal strain is represented as normal sorry normal stress that is created in the bolt is represented as sigma and that sigma is equal to p by a and p is 800 pound clear and area is pi by 4 d square and d is given as 3 by 16 whole square i will write it like whole square Clear. so when you solve this you will get the stress comes out to be 28.97 ksi so this is the stress 28.97 ksi that is generated in each bolt Now you can see this stress sigma is less than the yield strength and yield strength you can see that is 40 ksi. So we can say that since this is then since our sigma applied uh, stress is less than sigma yield. So Hooke's law, Hooke's law is valid is valid. If hook law is valid, so from hook, Hooke's law, we know that stress is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity. So from here, you will get the normal strain and normal strain is equal to stress divided by modulus of elasticity. So stress is 28.97 KSI. So 28.97 KSI divided by E is given as 29 into 10 to the power 3 KSI you can see here so from here you will get strain comes out to be 0 0.00999 inch per inch or there will be no dimension so this is the answer of part A in part B it is given that if nuts is unscrewed so if nut is unscrewed it means that load is zero if the n if the nut is unscrewed load is zero because in question it is given that so that clamping force is released so the load will be zero so therefore there is no load so therefore strain will be also zero so this was all about our problem 3.40 i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, subscribe my channel and also share it in your community Thank you for watching my videos.